After 82 years, fans say goodbye to Foreman Field. Special place. Yeah. It's a special place. It has a lot of magic here. See when they turn the lights out for the last time at tonight's emotional ceremony. We're taking a look back at the good times and looking forward to a brand new home for the Monarchs. When the new stadium is here, it'll be even that much more fantastic. Farewell, Foreman Field. It's the end of an era for Old Dominion. After 82 years, the Monarchs played their last game at Foreman Field. It's being partially demolished for a brand new stadium next year. It went out with a bang tonight. The stadium was packed for a post-game ceremony where they shut off the lights one last time. 13 News Now reporter Adriana de Alba spoke with diehard fans at tonight's game. It's been 82 years since Foreman Field first opened, but starting next week, parts of it will begin getting torn down. Fans are calling it the end of an era, but the beginning of a new chapter. This place has been, for 10 years, our home every Saturday. Every year. Has it not? It was a bittersweet goodbye to a place that has meant so much. Loyal fans filling up the stands one last time. They cheered and the band played before Foreman Field gets torn down next week, making way for a new stadium. It's the history here fans are sad to see go. It's always been here. It's a landmark. And look, we've been fortunate enough to be a part of it. For Kent Morris, it was a day of mixed feelings. It's bittersweet. It just has a, a certain feeling about the stadium that, I mean, you feel like you belong to something, belong to, you know, something local, but something that has history and heritage behind it as well. He's been bringing his son here for the last nine years. It's my favorite team. Beverly Spencer also remembers coming here with her dad, then filling the stands as a student. When I graduated from here. Uh, it's something we've been doing for 10 years. I mean, how many things can you say you've done for 10 years? But even though Foreman Field will never be as it was today, fans say there's a lot to look forward to. When the new stadium is here, it'll be even that much more fantastic. As it grows, we're looking forward to the expansion. We're looking forward to the opportunity to make more of it. But I can tell you, Special place. Yeah. It's a special place. It has a lot of magic here. In Norfolk, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now. So as you saw there, the fans certainly enjoyed themselves at today's finale from Foreman Field. For those actually playing on the field, though, it was certainly special. 13 News Now sports anchor Brian Smith has more from the locker room. Yeah, Stephen, I've been a part of all 10 of those ODU football seasons, and it, particularly for the 20 seniors this year, uh, their last game with the ODU Monarchs, all they heard, uh, it, it's going to be one of those ceremonies after the game. That's all they heard. By the time they got to it, they got more than what they bargained for, and current and former players were there as they sang the alma mater. Uh, they had a nice fireworks show as well. It was definitely spectacular. Uh, as the lights, uh, were, the old lights were turned off and the new ones were turned on. They're LED lights, which means they're brighter. Certainly the senior class was impressed. The, the memories that we have on this field, not only you know, my team, but the program, the, 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 just the history that, that was on this field. And, uh, you know, having been the last team on there, I mean, it's nothing like that. It was very emotional, you know, seeing all the older guys that played in the past, that even laid a foundation for us here, seeing all those guys happy and enjoying themselves. It was good. Now, coming up later in sports, a recap of the game itself, more from players, as well as head coach Bobby Wilder on a special senior night. Brian Smith, 13 years. News Now. All that history. Pretty Thanks, cool. Brian. Pretty Appreciate cool. that. Well, now let's take a closer look at the history behind Foreman Field. The historic stadium is named for one of ODU's founders, A.H. Foreman. It opened in 1936 when ODU was still part of the College of William and Mary. The college team played there until the program ended in 1940. The field was still the largest football stadium in Virginia. It hosted college teams like Georgia, South Carolina, and Syracuse. Foreman Field also hosted many of the annual o Oyster Bowl games. In 1974, a record 33,000 people packed in to see Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Youngs perform. Fast forward to 2009, ODU resurrected its football program. And of course, this year, Foreman Field hosted the team's biggest game ever. They beat Virginia Tech 49-35. It was the first time the Monarchs beat a Power 5 or ranked opponent. 
Now crews will start knocking down the stadium's seats. ODU says the demolition will probably start on Tuesday. The plan is to build a new similar sized 21,000 seat stadium in its place. ODU says it will have a better seat to restrooms and amenities. You're looking at the new stadium there. It's supposed to be done in time for next season's opener against NSU on August 31st. Virginia Beach based SB Ballard Construction Company is leading the project.